Hey everyone, this is Shooting Illustrated with another episode of iCarry for you. In today's episode, we're taking another look at the Sig Sauer P365 pistol and some related gear. Let's take a closer look at this minimalist kit. We're taking another look at the origin of species for the micro 9mm double stack pistols, Sig Sauer's P365. Yes, there were other small 9mm pistols with double digit capacity before the P365 hit the scene, but Sig really kicked off the current wave of tiny increased capacity pistols. With a 5.8 inch overall length, 3.1 inch barrel, 4.3 inch height, and 17.8 ounce weight, the P365 is small enough to conceal easily, it has 11 rounds at the ready with the Flush Fit magazine. While that capacity still doesn't match that of compact handguns like the Glock G19, it certainly starts to close the gap. Considering the P365 isn't much larger than Micro 380 ACP pistols with 7 round capacity, or small frame revolvers with 5 rounds, it's an impressive step up. The P365 is the closest in the current crop of Micro 9 double stacks that can realistically fit in a pocket, much like the 380s and J-frames. Over the years, SIG expanded the P365 line to enlarge it twice, add optics capability and other features like a built-in compensator. With these larger pistols, especially those with optics attached, belt carry methods became necessary. While even the largest P365 variant is smaller and easier to conceal than a full-size pistol, the original appeal of the P365 as a deep concealment option started to become less evident. Of course, for those looking for that compact pistol that's supremely easy to carry, SIG still offers the original P365 and that's why we're featuring it today. Whether you prefer pocket carry for a backup pistol or just want the smallest, lightest pistol with reasonable capacity, there's plenty of reasons to opt for the P365. Given its popularity, there's a great deal of options for upgraded components and gear, and when it comes to finding a holster, the P365 is probably the most fully accommodated Micro 9 out there. Best of all, with the P365, you've got a minimum of 11 rounds of solid defensive ammo in an eminently concealable package, and it's relatively easy to shoot, too. That's a great option to have. Safariland just released its new Schema Minimalist Inside the Waistband Holster, and it's a great fit for the P365. While the P365 is an excellent choice for pocket carry, not everyone is a fan of that method. For those who prefer traditional inside the waistband carry, the new Schema is a super minimalist design with only the bare bones holster framework necessary to safely carry the pistol and cover the trigger guard present. Open sides mean less weight, while still orienting the pistol properly on the belt and doing everything else a good holster should. With an attached wing to pull the schema into the body to maximize concealment and a rotating belt clip that allows a variety of cant adjustments, the schema can be easily worn in the appendix position or the traditional four o'clock position for inside the waistband carry. Fits are available for a variety of small semi-automatic pistols and at present time, only right-hand models are available. Sorry, lefties. Rounding out our minimalist kit is the eminently affordable Wraith Ice Series Smoke Pocket Knife. Weighing in at a scant 0.2 ounce and carrying a 2.6 inch AUS-8 stainless steel drop point blade, the Wraith is compact, yet does everything you need an EDC pocket knife to do. An ambidextrous thumb stud opens the blade, while a lockback system keeps the blade open when in use. The pocket clip is reversible for right or left pocket carry. Available in a number of translucent and opaque finishes, the Wraith series is available in a half dozen different configurations, including a traditional black polymer handle, if that's more your style. In any case, the Wraith is affordable, holds a sharp edge, and is easy to have with you at all times. There's little more you can ask of a pocket knife that's less than $40. For more information on the items we've chosen for today's kit, or to see other guns and gear combinations, visit shootingillustrated.com. And, as always, stay tuned for more episodes of iCarry.